Greetings, dear friends. This is Body Electric. I'm Margaret Richard, and we are going to have an upper body workout today. So make sure you have weights handy, and let's begin. By warming it up, feet shoulder width, shoulders up and up and down, and down, look to the side. Now the ear to the shoulder. Reach forward and reach. And up and down once again and reach. Now to the side, front and back. And circle and front and back. Circle. Now let's take it all the way down, melt down, head last, abdomen in. Okay, check it out, loosen up and grab your weights. We're going to start working the shoulders. I would suggest to go not too heavy with the weights. Let's go about three pounds. Shoulders down, that's your anchor. Up for two and press. And up. Press. Your tailbone is facing the floor. Your knees are slightly bent, the abdomen is in. A few more and up. Now remember that your shoulders are your anchor. That's what we're working. The wrist doesn't droop, the fingers are relaxed. And let's take it to the front. Shoulders stay down. And separate the shoulder blades, but basically keep facing me. And reach. Relax the fingers. And reach. Front, up for two. And press and lift. And lift. Push through the air as if it were thick. Create some resistance. To the side, to the front. Stay to 11 o'clock and 1 o'clock. Up, and the shoulders are down, the neck is long, the body stays facing me. And when you get into that area where you're a little fatigued and you keep pushing, that's where we want to be. Bend the elbows and palms facing each other, so it's a small movement, up and down. Abdomen is in. I'm going about, oh, two inches in each direction. My elbows are right in front of the body. The wrists are right over the elbows. And in for two. Out and press. If you have to stop and take a rest because you're just starting up, if that's appropriate for you, you do that. The most important thing is that you not lose the form. Keep the form very correct. And once again, up and down, up and down. Watch that the wrist is right over the elbow. Breathe out as you lift. And up and down. The arms are basically framing the face. Up and down. Shoulders are pressed down. Out and down. A few more. Up. Up, watch that the knees are relaxed, the back is under control, the abdomen is in. Fingers relaxed, front, down, and up. And then you start uh, looking in the mirror and you see these wonderful kind of rounded shoulders with this little muscle happening. And uh, it's a thrill to behold, or to be held. Okay, all right, let's make sure that we stretch, particularly through the neck, but let's stretch to the back first, get the muscles long, stretch from all the way through the neck area, through the shoulder. Okay, now we're going to work the back of the arm, the triceps, again, you can go a little heavier on these if you like, again, it's very individual, whatever your fitness level is. And you might even find that it changes from day to day, now I'm going to start out with fives. Overhead, keep the elbows framing the body, up, and so I'm going down for two. The um, hips are tucked, and if you can see, the weights are just kind of hanging from my fingers. And up. Up, full range of motions. See so here now the triceps are long, 
And then when you lift the arms, they're short. Slowly up, two, three, four, and down. And up. You can feel the muscles working to lift the arms. And straight up, down for two. I'll tell you when it's time to um, put the weights down or take a rest is when you have to compromise the form to keep the repetitions going. Breathe out as you lift. And you know, or maybe you don't, you don't know, that is the pull of the muscle on the bones that makes the bones strong. So like bones, don't fail me, get strong. And we women really have to be aware of that. Okay, ever so slowly, slowly. Keep the elbows facing the ceiling. Down. And up. Stay with me now. Just work through it, keep the form very perfect. Let's pay a lot of attention to details here, to excellence. And down. Uh, Bring the elbows in, frame your face. Come on, and down. And up, and if you're finding that you're moving quickly, it probably means that your weights are too light. Here the triceps are expanded, and here they're contracted, and down for two. If you have a mirror, take a look. See the action, and up. Okay, all right, excellent. Let's put the weights down and quickly, efficiently I should say, stretch the back of the arm, the triceps, press the shoulders down, bring the elbow right in line with your chest, the center of your chest, and stretch. The stretching feels good, it's kind of like our own little reward. Okay, now we're going to work the opposing muscle, which in this case is the biceps, are the biceps. Now I'm gonna double up on these weights. So I have fives and threes, eight pounds in each hand. So if you have a single setter, you can double up. Do yourself a favor, challenge yourself. Here we go. And up and squeeze. The palms are facing the ceiling, the hands are slightly relaxed, your abdomen is in. Tailbone pointed down, chest lifted, and squeeze. And you just glory in how wonderful your body is. What a wonderfully functioning, utilitarian thing it is. Squeeze. And down. Squeeze the biceps and then make them long. Press. Relax the fingers as much as possible. Huh. Now with one arm only, the two, and switch. Now, if you work out with me most mornings and you use weights that challenge you, you'll have a great workout. Then all you have left to do in your exercise agenda is something aerobic, like walking or spinning or bike riding up to the side. Slowly, and let's take it slowly down. So now the palms are facing the ceiling, and let's go a little faster. Up for two, and long, short, now, I could probably push and go even 10 pounds, and by the way, don't let me rush you. Take your time. Part of being fit is knowing what you can do and what you can't do. So if you have to go a little more slowly to get through the range of motion, please do so. It's not rude at all. It's like starting with when the food's hot. You just have to do it. Slowly, press the shoulders down, and down. Try not to bend the wrist. You want to keep like a straight lever. You know, I know many of you started with me, oh, so many years ago. And look at us now. We're such big girls and boys and strong. And it's never too late to start. Facing the front, the palms, facing in. Up. We are the body electric sisters and brothers who have become the mothers and fathers. Okay. All right, let's put the weights down. 
and let's stretch the biceps long, lengthen them. Feel the muscles stretch and relax. Okay, now we're going to work the pectoral area of the chest. I'm going to do some push-ups, and before I begin, I want to show you three different options. In the first place, if you have, excuse me, Mr. Chair, if you have a mat, uh, put your hands in front of it so that you're not, the width of the mat doesn't dictate the, the width of your hands. So the traditional way to do this, we kind of call, it, call this girls' push-ups, is to come straight forward and straight up. If you're a little less advanced, you can keep the hips over the knees, so it's more like just a dip. And of course, if you're more advanced, do them with the legs extended. But of course, I could do them all in the advanced way, but I want to, you know, give you the option of doing it with the knees on the floor. So, let's start back. And, uh, well, maybe they're not as much fun as some things, but they're kind of fun. Maybe just a little bit fun. Well, they're fun if you can do them. <laughs> Keep pressing the abdomen against the back. And it's a great way to work the chest muscles, not, not the breast tissue, but the chest muscles that support the breast tissue. Keep pressing the abdomen against the back. Support it. Breathe out as you left. And let's just enjoy a moment of silence while Margaret does just a few more. And I hope you're joining me. Two more. And one more. And back for two. Envision having a straight line from the head to the tailbone. Let's stretch long. Stop, stop, no more. <laughs> no more, no more. Okay, let's separate the knees slightly. Arch up, drop the head. This is called a cat stretch. And then kind of let the back sag. Come forward with the collarbones. And once again, all the way back. Reach long. And round up to a sitting position. Now go take a invigorating, wonderful, refreshing 30-minute walk because the next step is yours. And I'll see you tomorrow.